Whether you're a brand new artist or you have thousands of procedures under your belt, here are the top 10 things you should know about microblading and permanent makeup, according to Tina Davies. You can microblade all skin types one through six on the Fitzpatrick scale. This includes people with large pores, thin skin, thick skin, mature skin, or young skin. People with alopecia can also enjoy the benefits of microblading and permanent makeup. The only exception to this is people who have extremely thin skin and suffer from rosacea. The combination of this type of skin bleeds very easily, which makes doing the procedure very difficult. Oftentimes, excessive bleeding during a procedure dilutes the color that you're depositing into the skin and leads to very poor, weak results. Well-executed strokes heal crisp and clean with no blowout or spreading. The majority of strokes will heal exactly how you place them in the skin. This is why your technique is so important during your procedure. Before you start to do any permanent makeup procedure, you need to take a proper permanent makeup foundations training course. For example, an advanced technique like microblading requires prior knowledge of permanent makeup basics. This includes prior knowledge of things like skin morphology, color theory, safety standards, hygiene, design, and most importantly, the risks associated with bloodborne pathogens. Make sure to check your needles with a loop before every single procedure. This is important because you can't see damaged needles with the naked eye. Be on the lookout for barbed, damaged, or poorly aligned needle arrangements. These needle defects can cause scarring in the skin and poor outcomes. You can work on live models only once you have acquired proficient pattern making muscle memory. You need to practice your patterns on fake skin until you are comfortable enough to create a set of eyebrows with ease then you're ready for skin. Stretch is everything. Never underestimate the effectiveness of a perfect three-point stretch. Good stretching will elevate your work from good to great. Clients should return every 12 to 18 months. This is extremely important for checking your work, your deposit, and your technique, and for improving for future clients. You should be using completely disposable needles and handles for all of your permanent makeup procedures to prevent the risk and spread of bloodborne pathogens. Reusable handles must always be sterilized by a steam autoclave. The bottom line is if you can't autoclave it, then you can't reuse it. Your results will always vary based on three factors. The client's skin, your technique, and the tools that you use. The more procedures you do, the more experience and time on skin you'll have, which will lead you to produce consistently great results because you'll know how to vary your technique based on your client's various skin types. You can speed up your learning curve by obtaining high quality training and by using high quality tools and pigments from the very start. The Tina Davies and Permablend I Love Ink Pigment Collection is great for beginners and experts alike. You can obtain the material safety data sheet from our website linked in the description box below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with fellow artists. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more information on microblading and permanent makeup tips.